Hi ma'am. Hello. How did you reach here? How did I come here? You know the wonders of technology. So it was GPS and GPS takes you everywhere. If you don't know the way, you don't know the route, you don't know where you're going. So you then just, uh, you have your phone in your hand and you just put on your GPS and then it will take you here. It gives you directions. Okay, now turn left, now turn right, <laughs> now go ahead. But can so you trust it every time? So, uh, yeah, mishaps can happen. It has made me go on a merry-go-round on many times uh, because GPS is not able to see the obstructions on the road. Okay. So, even today this happened. Okay. While I was coming, you know, it said that all right, now there is this roundabout and you just uh, you just go around it. But when I am going around it, there is a barrier there. Hmm. So, probably because GPS is uh, the eye in the sky. Yeah, it can't see so on the road. It can't see on the It's just tracking uh, the movement of my smartphone that it is the smartphone that has a gps chip that lets it track satellite signals correct and it also sees the roads mm -hmm. but beyond that it cannot see these very uh, small uh, obstructions that would be there so then at least you know if even if you have uh, come across that barrier and you are not able to turn take the turn that gps tells you just go ahead and, uh, it will be and, this and then it will again tell you all right now that you have come here or, uh, you just take another run yeah. you turn there or whatever it is it will, ultimately it leads you there but it was about temporary and localized barriers but once i was traveling from Dehradun to delhi and there was a hill and it must not have been new it must have been there forever oh. or at least for a long time okay it was telling me to go inside it wait so was there a tunnel or something nothing at all then how was, like how that. did that happen i have no idea but then we had to ask the locals and the locals yes. said that okay it, it does to its route and then move ahead oh, i wonder what what, what like uh, what was it that the gps was uh, detecting and what was actually there it's uh, I don't know how probably this, how the this size of the hill maybe or right. the things that it made up of was not detectable by the that people. is also possible maybe that, is, that maybe is also possible maybe, maybe that, yeah. is a, that could happen and I've also heard once that uh, the GPS was hacked by someone in a very funny way some somebody in US this guy took almost 150 phones uh, and you know put it on the, on the crate this shopping crate we have and was, uh, he just switched the GPS on and he's you know moving with the crate on the road so now it oh, shows oh, yes, yes. that it's I totally that. a busy I road yes yeah. yes i recollect that i yeah. recollect that yes yes simon weckert in berlin dragged 99 phones on an empty street causing gps to perceive massive traffic jam so, I guess. so it is misleading uh, it, the, can. It, it is that was mischievous that was just a mischievous i think an experiment kind of thing to just show okay. that uh, because you know that is how uh, gps tells you that where the crowd is and how to avoid the crowded yeah. uh, roads so how does it see it it is actually tracking all our phones it just it's just not 100% accurate I will absolutely say absolutely not absolutely yeah. not because many times i have seen that even when i want that there is a lag and the between in the connectivity lags can happen due to many reasons one of the most common reason can be when the signal the satellite signal is entering into the earth's atmosphere okay. it's entering from vacuum to the earth's atmosphere where the density is now higher oh, oh. so at the top sphere so you mean there's a air pocket or something not air pocket it's just density a vacuum is like nothing okay. and then it enters this the density is higher of the mm -hmm. air mm -hmm. and the refraction okay. occurs okay. and the signal gets slower Slower and slower and slower. Oh, I see. And hence, there can be a little lag. But it, that, that does happen every time. But sometimes, sometimes due to weather condition, it may be even more. That can lead to some mishaps. And sometimes GPS also goes silent completely. It doesn't uh, doesn't act at all. That could be some technical glitch technical in the satellite. It could be, yes. I've also be. read ah. somewhere that it also depends on the positioning. There could be certain areas on the earth okay. where uh, the satellite or this whole uh, GPS thing may not work effectively because it is close to one of the satellites, but it is very far from the other two satellites. It needs at least three satellites to be yes, yes, uh, properly yes. aligned. Yes, there are many videos on that, right. that how GPS actually works. And the minimum is that there should be three satellites Correct. to exactly you know, yeah. pinpoint your position. And it's better to have more than that. So Correct. if there are four satellites or even more. That so the more, more the more satellites accurate. there are, the more you have the yes, accuracy for greater accuracy. That's true. But then, you know, there have been some uh, reports of, uh, give the reference, that uh, when a road is flooded, hmm. 
but the GPS is not able to see that. Yeah. So it is leading you right into the water. Hmm. And uh, it can't see the level of the water. So you and your vehicle and everything, you can have that, uh, you know, that uh, danger, Obviously. that hazard of drowning there. And it Probably has because happened. it was very recent. It has happened. Oh, that's sad. It, ha it has happened and people have actually lost their lives. Young men lost their lives. They just, oh. they were following GPS. So if you are following GPS, you also have to be alert on it and not Obviously. follow it blindly. blindly. Not blindly. Then another hazard could be that, you know, GPS could also uh, mislead aeroplanes, airplanes that are in flight. And there have been accidents caused because of this kind of mislead. Because of the lag, because of the lag that may happen with extreme weather conditions? There, yes. And there could also be people playing some mischief, you know, some oh, manipulation yeah. they're doing or something, Definitely. you know, that Possibly. can also. So that can be a kind of a sabotage. Right, right, right. With the uh, air flight that is being... Tracked. And the mm -hmm. GPS system that we have is given and is owned by the US. That's why India is working on having their own. I think India system. already has it. India yes. already has satellites in place. Now. Yeah, and we have yes. it ours, and we yes, won't be dependent already, on yes, the US. Yes. We are. We already have ours. Yeah. So there are these different systems also. Correct. And I think um, one of the most uh, common thing when I see GPS getting confused is when we order from Swiggy and whatever is <laughs> and all. Yeah, when you're these asking people, for food. Yeah, yeah, these people just can't find because most people live in crowded areas. Oh, oh, so that is, you know, GPS cannot exactly, it will, the finer pinpointing, it can never... Because it be. cannot penetrate the solid walls. That's true, that's true. Yeah. So, yes, so that reminds me that sometimes when I take a cab or something and I'm coming to my home and the cab driver insists that, no, this is the other lane that is behind my house. It's a, this is this is where GPS is taking me and I tell him, see, I know where I live. <laughs> this is not my I house. Know. It is on the other I side, know. but GPS cannot do that fine yeah. tracking. It can't, it can't. So, it just takes you uh, more or less in the approximate area and then you uh, if you don't know the area place then you have to exactly. look for it find it and ask people around Correct. or else you just uh, follow the house numbers or something like exactly. that uh, that that can you gotta have the... yes yes so gps cannot do that fine absolutely fine tracking that yes is, that it can't do. okay so those are those some limitations but at least you know it's a big boon otherwise i would never have been able Obviously. to come here i know you know I to know. be able to you know uh, Grapple with these long distances, you really GPS is such a boon. It's such a busy days. Yeah, it is.